Good morning, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. On this video, I'm going to take you on the day of a life of a fourth year, which is not a conventional med school day by any means. So I'm going to have some fun and take you guys on with me. All right, guys, so today is Tuesday. As I mentioned, the life of a fourth year is not conventional at all. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. A little bit spontaneous. I'm just kind of figuring out what I wanna do with my time. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. The first thing that you guys did not notice is the 500 times that I press snooze on my alarm. And that's just because as a fourth year, often you don't have to show up to things in the morning at six o'clock or 5.30 anymore, which is awesome. Um, so taking the advantage and getting some more sleep on days that I really need it. Uh, but we are going to make breakfast and then we're going to get to work. Okay, so coffee is being made. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on what the schedule for the day looks like. As I mentioned, it's a little bit unconventional. So let me explain first what class I'm taking because I think a lot of you will be like, really? that's a class in med school. Um, so I'm taking a class called Psychology and Pop Culture, which is basically trying to find examples of uh, mental illness uh, and social stigma towards it in the media. So watching things like Netflix series, uh, podcasts, books, and trying to be able to identify common medical uh, mental illnesses, anxiety, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, um, and seeing how the media portrays uh, things like that. Like yesterday we had a lecture on what kind of disease or diagnosis the Joker would have and how the movie uh, of The Dark Knight makes um, that type of persona. And so it's a really cool class. Uh, I only have to go uh, once a week and the rest of it is for me to spend time uh, watching the rest of the assignments. And so I get to watch some pretty cool series, series that I otherwise would not have. So today the plan is, number one, I have to fix my car. I have a pretty big oil leak and so I'm going to take it to um, the shop and hopefully they can just tighten the bolt uh, and replace my oil. I got to go to school. Um, I need to grade some assignments and then I got to work on some stuff for the blog, uh, go to the gym and then just chill. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this chill day as a fourth year med student. You will be there too if you're not there already. Um, let's get to that coffee. Let me see if I can. There we go. All right. So today we got a Colombian roast. I'm going to have it black. Um, and then we are going to get ready to go get our oil changed and then get to school. So I can't drink black coffee that quickly. Um, so usually these mornings when I'm just kind of sipping on my morning joe, um, I go ahead and just answer all y'all's YouTube comments. So appreciate um, all those of you that leave a comment. Um, try to answer them as best as possible. So if you got a response from me, I try to make them as in-depth and personal. Um, so keep those comments coming. Uh, but we're going to have this coffee and then I'm going to go shower and then uh, head to the mechanic. Um, the one other thing that I needed to add my schedule today is I need to prepare for a mock interview uh, for residency tomorrow. So our school sets up um, different faculty members that we can um, practice our interview skills with. And so tomorrow I have it with actually, ironically, one of my letter writers. Um, so it should be a good um, practice round for me. I haven't really given an update regarding residency. So I guess this will be uh, update number one with the interview cycle already starting. So we're about a week in uh, and I've gotten a decent amount of interviews. So I'm super thrilled um, that the first week went really, really well. Um, usually the number for uh, internal medicine is about 10 to 12 uh, interviews that you actually go on. Um, that way when you rank them in the match, you have a pretty good chance of going to residency somewhere. So um, with one weekend, uh, I'm doing pretty well. It's so my first residency interviews in about two, two and a half weeks. Um, so I'm really excited for that. It's actually a program I'm con highly considering. Um, so I'm really excited. The process is working out really well so far, uh, but that's my little mini update. So there you go. If you guys ever wanted to know um, how residency interviews are going, they're going pretty well, um, but we're not going to jinx it. Um, we're just kind of getting through, starting through the process uh, and I'm enjoying it. You know, uh, the schools that I really wanted to hear from originally are sending out their invites and uh, I'm glad to be one of their first um, that's going to be interviewing at their institution. And so tomorrow we're going to practice to make sure when we go on the real thing, we don't screw up. 
Um, but let's go ahead and we're gonna shower up and then we are going to get our stuff ready and uh, head to the mechanic and then head to school. All right, so we are done with our shower and whew, we smell so good. All right, so <laughs> we are going to be heading to the mechanic, which I've been talking about forever. Uh, place is kind of dirty, so I'm gonna uh, quickly just kind of clean up and then gather our stuff and then we'll head out together. All right, so the apartment's clean, at least this portion of it is. Um, I'm gonna quickly make a list of everything I wanna do. If I leave the apartment, I want to make sure I don't forget anything as well is not do something before I come back. So I use an app and I'll like make a screenshot here, especially my Android users probably know this, called Google Keep. Um, so for my iOS lovers, sorry. Um, but I usually make a list of everything I need to do. I need to do some grocery shopping. Um, so I make a list of those things and then I try to put it in chronological order. That way I kind of like mark it off and delete it. It feels nice, so nice to delete those um, to-do items. And so first thing obviously, as I mentioned, we're gonna get the oil change, get some groceries, go to school, and then get a workout in. And I'll tell you kind of what we'll be doing for the rest of the afternoon, but let's get to it. Okay, right, so I am at the oil place. Um, good news, there is nothing wrong with my car. Uh, it's just behaving a little bit weird, so don't have to pay up any money, which is always good news to hear when you're in medical school. Um, so I'm gonna head to school, and we're going to get some work done, some video editing done, get a workout in, and at two o'clock, I have to, as a tutor, I have to uh, run one of the sessions for the first years, and so it is currently 10, so I have four hours to do all of that. Um, so I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those clips. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty. That was a good cardio session. So I'm headed back home. I'm gonna take another quick shower to freshen up and I have to come back to school um, for the activity for the first year. So we're gonna quickly drive home, uh, kind of freshen up, get some food in after a workout, and then yeah, come back to school and repeat this all over again. All right guys, so just freshened up again, took another quick shower. Yep, still smell good. Gave myself a little bit of a trim. Most of you guys don't know, but I actually cut my own hair. So I'm happy when it turns out semi-decently. Um, have a protein shake ready, a banana, gotta head back to school. Kind of running late, so let's get to it. All right, guys, what is going on? Oh, that is some good lighting. I like it. Um, so I just finished uh, my session with the first year class. And um, after that, um, I actually got called in to help with the anatomy lab. So I am both an anatomy TA as well as a histology TA. And so those are two jobs I do get paid for. So made some extra money and uh, just wrapped up the anatomy lab portion. So I need to quickly grab some minor groceries um, from our local um, grocery store and then I'm gonna head home and do homework. You'll see what homework is today. But I'll see you in the next clip. All right guys, so I am back from the grocery store and I'll tell you about my homework. I have to watch an episode of Black Mirror. Now I know most of you guys are like, why the hell is that a your homework assignment? As you remember me mentioning in the earlier in the video, I'm taking a psych and pop culture class. So I have to watch things that deal with psych in some form. So Black Mirror, I have to watch one episode, try to watch it yesterday. I hate, absolutely hate scary things. Um, so I tried to watch it like half of it yesterday, or like 10, did not happen. So <laughs> what, I, what I'm coming up with now is that it's actually really nice outside and um, I need to set up my hammock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my hammock and we're gonna watch Black Mirror uh, to like make it a little bit less scary and watch it in the sun. Um, so laugh at me all you want, but I gotta do my homework. So I don't wanna watch anything scary. So I'm gonna quickly change. So let's, let's fix this really quick. Let's, 
All right, new outfit, feeling a lot more comfortable out of those jeans. So we're gonna grab our tarp, we're gonna set it up, and then we're gonna watch some Black Mirror. Alright guys, so the hammock is all set up, um, it's kind of hot, um, you've probably already seen me sweating, so while it's nice that it's set up, we're going to go back inside and actually watch the show, so let's do that. So Black Mirror is on, I'm trying to look away, have a snack, you guys can watch my reaction, yeah. see how I do, it's going to be pretty terrible. And now he's alone. Like, this cannot get worse. Yeah, it's going to. I mean, there's friggin' 19 minutes left of this episode. It has to get worse. I seriously despise this show already. It is an interesting concept, though. So, this guy is basically seeing things in his head, kind of like a virtual video game, but no one else sees what he sees. And so it kind of represents a lot of the psychiatric illnesses we see where people are hallucinating and have delusions. Um, so he's had a mixture of being afraid. He's had a mixture of thinking everything is okay when people are trying to convince him otherwise. So it's an interesting concept. Would I watch this again? Absolutely not. But if you're a fan of Black Mirror, let me know down below. Tell me all the other scary movies and TV shows I should never watch in my life. So, I'd appreciate you. Now she has a knife. Not about this knife. I got an email. I'm gonna check my email instead of watch this. The real question is, how much is left of this TV show? 12 minutes. There's still a lot that can go on. So, it looks like this episode's coming to an end. Thank God. Um, overall, very interesting show. I recommend it if you're okay with a little bit of scariness. Um, the people that told me about the show are right. It does make you kind of think. Uh, but I don't want to think like this. <laughs> so I want to get back to my sports um, within the four minutes. And then that's that. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to this, we're going to wrap up the rest of the night. A um, few things I have left to do, which is edit my videos for tonight and tomorrow um, for the YouTube channel, as well as uh, prepare for my interview season. So we're going to do that chill and then actually watch some decent tv and that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in the next clip all right guys so uh currently finished editing the video um that you'll see tomorrow which is about the six things that you should not lose on your medical journey um so uh hopefully you guys enjoy it it'll be linked also in this video once it's up and ready to go um but that's gonna be it for this video though it is about eight o'clock so still have a few hours left in the day but the rest of my hours aren't that much different than um, what I would do on a typical day, even when I was a first, second, and third year med student. Um, that's pretty much just chill. So watching TV, watching Netflix, um, playing video games, reading books. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a day in the life of a fourth year med student. Uh, if you guys want more videos like this, comment down below. Like this video as always. Let me know. I don't make very many vlogs. Uh, most of them are tips. Um, but if you guys enjoy this, I can try to incorporate these more into my um, videos from now on. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching up to this point. Hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel to get more content just like this one. Comment below with any questions you have. I'm going to stop babbling like I always do at the end of these videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.